Hello everyone, this is Gwydion, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stream audio into Gilded using Voice Meter. Now, if you don't know Voice Meter, I have some videos that show you how to use Voice Meter and set it up, and I'll link those in the uh, description, and I'll also drop a card for you. But uh, for now, I'm gonna assume that you have some familiarity with Voice Meter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to gilded.gg, you're gonna download for Windows, and you're gonna sign up for two instances. So I would use two different emails, but one of them we're gonna use for voice and one of them we're gonna use for the audio you wanna pipe in, whether it's YouTube or Sirenscape or what have you. So many of you have probably seen videos, including mine, that show how to do this using Discord. So it's a pretty similar process. And the reason I'm showing you Gilded is I've been testing out Gilded over the last several weeks and I really like the features and functionality. So there's other videos that'll go into that, but for this video, we're gonna focus on how do you stream audio into your Gilded server. So let's get started. So you download for Windows, get it all set up, sign up, and then you're going to open the app. So here's my app right now. So when you first log in, you're gonna to get to an overview page. So if you already have a server, it might be somewhat similar to mine. You have a little overview section and I'll drop a link to uh, connect, if, you, if you'd like to uh, connect with my server, you can jump on and ask me questions, streaming questions, audio questions. But once you get here, there's a couple things you're gonna wanna do in your server. First, go down to the cog at the bottom into settings and go to general settings. Now, someone mentioned to me when I was starting to test out streaming audio in that this hardware acceleration might cause issues. And for me, it did. I was getting a fair bit of cutouts and issues. So I turned this off and it's been a lot more stable. So I would go into here, turn this off. So it'll be toggled on to green to start. So once you've done that, you're gonna go into voice and video. So I set my mic directly into Gilded. See, I have my mic, my Blue Yeti going in here as the input, and then it's going out to cable A input. So I use voice meter potato. If you use voice meter banana, it's very similar. You just won't have quite as many inputs and outputs as I do. But for now, I've got gilded coming, my microphone coming in here and then going out to cable A input. So any players that are connected or any sounds that I stream in, and I'll show you that on the next instance, it's gonna be coming in through gilded here for me. And then I'm sending this column out to A1, which is my headset. So if players are talking to me or whatever sounds are coming in, I'm gonna hear anything that comes through here as long as A1 is connected. All right, uh, I have push to talk. You can, you can do what you want. You don't need to have push to talk, but I do use that. Okay, uh, now the other thing you'll notice, so once you, once you get this in, select for, for my instance here, I'm just gonna show you in my general voice. So if you click on voice, you'll see you have a voice channel up here, which is just lobby for now. Click on that. And now I'm in my voice lobby. Now, if you click on the cog over here for your voice channel, you'll notice that in voice settings, it defaults to 96 kilobits. We'll test it in a bit to go up to 256. And again, all this is free. It's not stereo yet, but I believe they're working on making the stereo. So right now it's gonna be mono but it's still a pretty good solution so that your players don't have to go anywhere else to hear sound. So we'll start with that. Now what we're gonna do is go back to Chrome. So in your instance, you would type in gilded.gg, connect to your server, so you'll have to send yourself an invite. And once you've connected, you can see in my case, Gwydion Sound. And if you look over here, I'm connected as the Gwydion Sound bot. I just, that's what I named this instance. So then you're gonna click on General, Voice lobby, and now I'm connected. Okay, so you can see that I'm connected down here. So if I play sound, what I'm gonna do with this now is I'm gonna go down to my cog, voice and video. So I'll pull up voice meter to show you, but I'm gonna send voice meter output, which means if I've toggled B1 down here, anything that I've toggled B1 will go into Gilded. And then I've set voice meter VI out, VAIO3 input as the output, but importantly, I've got this output toggled all the way down to zero because I don't wanna hear this sound because I'm sending this into my gilded channel, but I'm gonna hear it because I've already got my headset connected and that's gonna come back through cable A. 
So you can make this cable A, you can make this voice meter aux. It really doesn't matter because you want the output all the way to the left. Okay. So once you do that, I would set this to voice activity so it, it will open whenever you have sound coming through here. You don't want it pushed to talk. And then instead of having this ha toggled to automatically determine sensitivity, make sure this is toggled off, slide it all the way to the left so it's as, as sensitive as you can get it. Once you have that set up, then I've already got Sirenscape connected because I use that for a lot of my um, sound program uh, input. So I've got this set up to go through cable B. Okay, and I, other videos I can show you how to do that. But for now, know that it's set up and it's toggled. It's going through cable B. So I'm going to turn on a sound. Okay, so you can see that the green light is lit up. And now if you look at my sirenscape, sorry, my voice meter, it's coming through cable B and it's going out through B1, which is voice meter, VAIO. So that's my voice meter output. So again, whatever I have, any of these strips where I have B1 selected and I don't have it selected over here because this is why I'm hearing it because I've got it coming in here, going out to B1, which is going into Gilded. And then I'm hearing it because it's coming back out here through A1, which is awesome. So that's going, so that's working just great. And now I have another program called RPG Sounds and I've uploaded, I'll show you just for a second, this is my sound mixer for RPG sounds. It's available free on Steam. It's awesome. But what I wanted to show you is I uploaded some dark fantasy tracks. Now I'm going to start playing that. And that one I have going through my desktop, VAIO, the voice meter VAIO. So it's coming through here and then it's going out to B1. Now, if I toggle this off, you're not going to hear it. Right? Because it, it's still coming in here, but it's not going out to B1. So I've got to click B1 for it to connect. So the sound quality is pretty good. And now I've, I've got a way to stream sounds in. It's connected. It's all working really well. Now, once they get this to stereo, it's going to be awesome. But let's toggle for a second. Let's go back to the app. And if I toggle this up, I don't know that you're going to notice a big difference. But let's see might clip for a second. Let's crank it all the way up to 256. I'm going to play another track. It sounds pretty clean. I like it. So that's it, guys. I mean, now your players, um, if they log into this, then they can hear it. Then they can obviously right click and they can change the volume themselves. They don't have any other programs to, to jump into. They can hear everything directly through uh, your Gilded server. So that's it. I don't want to make this too much longer. I'll drop a bunch of links below so that uh, if you need any more help with uh, voice meter or uh, downloading any of these programs, then I'll have links below and also a link to my Gilded so you can pop on in and ask me questions if you'd like. So I hope this was helpful to all of you and I'll be doing several other videos like this too as I get to know Gilded uh, a little bit better. So uh, thanks everyone for watching and if you could like, uh, if you like the video, follow me if, you, if you'd like, subscribe and, and I hope to, uh, to see you around. Drop a comment if, uh, if this was helpful to you. So I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.